Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the real Beyonce, kids and all, and of course you know we heal here. Um, anyway guys, I kind of want to talk to you about my school, Perfect Phobotomy. Now, I never really tell the spill on what's going on with my school, and I'm sure everyone wants to know. Okay, first of all, I would like to tell you guys, I am the first African American woman who's ever opened up a phobotomy school, not only in Oklahoma City, but around the world. And I have not promoted that as much as I think I should. And I'm about to start now. I felt like that um, when I first opened my school, this is what happened, guys. I did not promote it the way it should have been promoted. I did not um, research it enough. I was just so excited to be able to open up a school that I didn't think like, oh, you have to do it this way. You have to do it that way. Um, I didn't I didn't think like that. I just thought that it would be able to pay for itself because of the pandemic and I know so many single moms and um, So many people out here that needed a new beginning That I thought that the school would make enough money that I can I can do that after I get it started You know, I'm like, let's just get started with it and then this will pay for itself and that's what I assumed because mind you guys I am a divorcee um, I am divorced um, I'm a single mom I just moved off a uh, military base to come back home and to start completely over so I as in my ex-husband didn't do what most military guys do to their for their wives when they go home you know they make sure they're straight because um, I assumed that he assumed that I was coming back I don't know but however Whatever I did with my school, I did out of my own pocket. I didn't get a PP loan. I didn't get any of the advances. I didn't get any grants. Everything from my school came straight out of my pocket. And mind you, I was starting completely over. I live in a four bedroom home and I'm a mother of two. So I did the best I could when it came to my school. But I started to realize that a lot of other people assumed that I wasn't good enough, you know, to be the person to own a phlebotomy school. Um, I got a lot of backlash. Like, I got a lot of stuff. Like, I would post pictures of my um, me in swimsuits because, mind you, I'm also a um, ambassador for a swimsuit company. Um, so I would post pictures of me in swimsuits, which showing my body because I really, at that time, I had a really nice body, you know. And so I would post pictures of that and they felt like that wasn't professional enough, um, which I feel like it's my business. <laughs> and I also can make money off selling my swimsuits because I am an ambassador for a swimsuit company. So I'm basically a swimsuit model and an ambassador for a swimsuit company, which is why I posted myself in those swimsuits. I was selling them um, to make money for my school and my home, <laughs> okay? Also, you know, I am really goofy. I am very outgoing. I love to dance. Um, mind you, I used to be a cheerleader in school, if you can't tell by my personality on some of my videos. I'm very upbeat, really hyper. Um, I'm, I, that's just who I am. And a lot of people assume that that wasn't professional enough to own a school. Well, this is my question to those people. What is professional enough to own a school? I mean, because if you were a professional enough to own a school, then why didn't you think of it? Why didn't you open that school? Why is it that I'm the person that opened the school? Why is it that I'm the person that thought of it? And I'm not a franchise. I'm not a multi-million dollar company. I'm a single mother who decided to open up a phlebotomy school because I wanted to give my kids the best that I could. So why am I not good enough? That's my question, you know. Why am I not good enough when I was smart enough and you wasn't? So who are you to tell me I'm not professional enough? Who are you to tell me how I'm supposed to act when I own a school? I don't think you have that right. And at first, instead of feeling like that, it messed with my mental. Like I gained a massive amount of weight. Okay, I went up to 204 pounds. I have never been 204 pounds in my life, ever. I gained two, I went up to 200, even pregnant, never, okay? I've never went, went past 180 in my life, ever. And so I went up to 200 pounds, my drive five one. Um, I also you know, I kinda like messed up everything when it came to my home, which I didn't want it anymore anyway, because trying, I'm trying to buy a home. 
and it was too it was too pricey um i opened up a, bu a building kind of messed up with that too which i decided to close the building because i wasn't getting enough students so i'm actually paying for something that doesn't pay for itself your business should always pay for itself you should never be paying out of pocket for something that you're not gaining like if i'm not gaining enough funds i shouldn't be paying out of pocket for this and that I, that's something I learned um, as a businesswoman. Okay, never pay out of pocket what you're not gaining. It, you're just you're, you're losing money. And so I was losing money, so I closed the building down and decided that I was going to launch it online until I get more students. And then I get more students that want to come in. Then I will go get another building. At this moment, it's going to be launched online. Okay, but. All those things made me want to give up on something that I am very passionate about, something that I manifest for myself, something I paid for for myself, something I paid for out of my own pocket. Because I assumed that, okay, since they said I'm not good enough, maybe I'm not good enough. No, no. I'm more than good enough. I'm more than good enough. I'm the best. And that's what I'm going to tell myself, and I hope that you guys see that too. I am not going to sit here and be like, I can't do this because I own a school. No, 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 no. If I choose to put on a bikini and sell my bikinis to help pay for my school, that's what I'm going to do. As long as I am doing what I'm supposed to do. I also did another thing wrong, guys. I had got my first student, and the first thing I did was look at her as I was so grateful. I was so happy. I was like, oh, my God, I got a student. Like, wow, you know, me, me. Oh my God, oh my God, I was like so in shock, you know, that I um, treated her like my best friend, which she was supposed to come on to my school after she graduated and become part of my team to help me build my school. Because mind you, not only can I teach uh, phlebotomy, I can teach medical assistant, I can teach dental assistant, I can teach CNAs, I can teach um, CPR. So I can teach all of these things, not just phlebotomy. Mind you, that guys. So if you come to my school, I'm allowed to teach more than just phlebotomy. I just gotta find teachers to help me teach it. So you get what I'm saying? So with that being said, um, she was supposed to have came onto my school and became a partner of mine. So me and her started to talk a lot about our personal lives. Like I knew all her personal business when it came to her guys and a lot of other things. And I started to tell her mine, which was a mistake because at the end of the day, this is my student. Even though she said that she was coming onto my team and even though we talked like we were best friends, this person was not that to me. She was my student. And I should have kept it more professional and I did not. And so now I have a, a person who did not finish paying for their class, um, who did not graduate from high school and I didn't check that at first. And, and who didn't even have the accreditation to be able to come to my school. And because um, I didn't check any of that, I was just, as long as she signed a contract, and long as she had her GED before she came to my school, I didn't matter, before she graduated, it didn't matter. Because mind you, you can still come to my school, you just have to get your GED before you um, take the test. And then that's, that's how it works. So, you know, I didn't think of any of that. And when I kept trying to send her to clinical, she refused to go. Mind you, it's because she didn't have the credentials to actually graduate. And um, it's just a lot. It's just a lot going on. So now this girl is going around saying my school is unprofessional. My school is this. My school is that. Mind you, she was the one unprofessional. She came to school every day telling me how she wanted to kill herself, how she was going to be recreated and uh, do recreation and be recreated into um, Kylie Jenner's daughter Stormy. Like it was a lot. And so, you know, I felt really bad for her. And she also told me, because she was an Indian girl, she also told me that Indians weren't accepted and all those type of things. So I wanted to make her feel accepted. Like, honey, I don't care that you're Indian. I got Indian in me too, honey. I'm all mixed up. Look at my skin. Like, you can't tell I'm all mixed up. <laughs> Here, give me hugs. Love, come here. Love, love, honey. So that's how it was. And that was a mistake. I should have kept it very professional because sometimes people don't, you, you can give, but people don't give back. You can't always trust people. Sometimes people, um, whole intentions is to ruin you. And I feel like that's what it was for her. And because she wanted my score, or she wanted my name, or she wanted my title, or she wanted what I had. She just wanted to be seen with me because I am aware of people knowing my face. And I realized that she just wanted to be seen with me and that's it. She didn't want to, how do I say it? 
she didn't she didn't really want to go to my school she just wanted to be seen with me and then she's seen that i was out clubbing and drinking i wasn't dressing up all the time and because i started getting depressed about the funds about not being you know um that people think you know people discrediting my school i started really getting depressed and she's seen that and so she decided that i wasn't who she wanted to hang with you know she wanted to kick it with me no more and so she decided to try to destroy my school and that's not okay but it happened and don't worry because i will be putting a gag order on that real soon okay real soon girls went and got her i went and got professional with her. i went and got me some lawyers okay and so um I'm, I'm doing it a different way now and i decided to relaunch my school um to promote it better to reach out to other people and um see if they wanted to be a part of my school and that's what I'm gonna do. Um, mind you, like I said, I am the first African American woman to ever open up a phlebotomy school. I will be the first African American woman to open up a school like mine. I do know that there is a woman who's in um, uh, Texas that I was told to open up a dental school, but then I found out a little more research. Not true. So um, I'm gonna reach out to that person <laughs> to see if they wanna collab, because even if they didn't get it done then doesn't mean they can't do it now i mean never stop your dreams never and so i want to reach out to them because i have a creation and my creation is nationally so i can go anywhere with my creation so if i can get it open in different states and have different people working on it have them work underneath me they can they can open up the school and run the school but it'd be underneath my name even though they don't have the credentials they could still run the school and all they would have to do is um just find employees so that's what I'm about to start doing. Um, I'm going to start looking into people who are all for, you know, first of all, I'm a, I'm a feminist. Okay, if you guys don't know, I am very much a feminist. I am all pro-woman. Hey, 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 pro-woman. I'm also an African-American woman. So I'm very pro-sister, okay? I am very like, oh, that magic, honey, that magic. I am very much that, but don't get me wrong. I have no problem with seeing a woman of a different race come up because I'm also a feminist and I'm all about it, okay? That is probably one of the problems. That's probably why some people try to stop me because mind you, I am in a state where um, it's very, Mm, you know, we still might, they still might want us to be out there picking that cotton. So I am in one of those states. And that's the problem that I did not open my thing, my school thing, my school in a state where um, African Americans are promoted. Um, I, I did not reach out to the, um, to my community enough. I didn't reach out to other African Americans in my community that have some type of power. And I didn't sit down and discuss my school, you know, and ask them to be a part of it or ask them to help promote it um, or help finance it, you know, with me. And I should have did that, but I was a little embarrassed to ask anyone for help, but I'm not embarrassed anymore. I, I see that, you know, if I want to succeed, I have to reach out to other people and let them know, like, look, this is happening to me. Um, they are trying to, like, destroy me to take my school, you know, and I, I think I have to do a little more of that. But we have not stopped Perfect Phlebotomy, guys. Perfect Phlebotomy will never stop okay i am thinking about changing the name because i do want to add more schools to it and um to add more schools to it i cannot keep it as perfect lobotomy because i want to add medical assisting as well as for um, dental assisting as well as some other things and i want it to be nationally known and the way to do that is to might have to change my name because keeping that name is not going to help me uh, promote my school because it's phlebotomy and I'm gonna wait though until I get those schools running but I am gonna start reaching out to other people and speaking to them about being a part of my school. There's a lot of people on TV, like a lot of single moms out there that are on TV that I know will love to be a part of this because this is something that will also help build wealth to them. There's a lot of reality uh, show moms. Yes, there is, because I'm also going to do my reality show still. Yes, I will. And my reality show would be basically based off me opening my school as an African-American woman, how I came from one spot to another spot. 
okay, I will also bring other women with me that have scholars, and I will bring other women with me that have not started, but that is starting. I want to show their starts. I want to show the women that are already there, and I want to show me, and that's what my reality show will be, and it's going to happen. Yes, it will. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna reach out. I, I don't know if I should reach out or not, but I'm thinking to reach out to some of those women because I just, I see them open up boutiques. I see them open up all these things. Well, how about you be a part of this? How about you be a part of the medical field, honey? And so that's what I'm gonna do. I, my dreams are not gonna stop. I'm gonna manifest it, and I'm never gonna stop manifesting it. And I'm gonna keep soaring with it, and I'm gonna soar forever. So with that being said, guys, we have a huge promotion going on right now. My classes are normally $800. I decided to stop the $800 because mm -hmm, I see there's a pandemic going on. I see that these women can't afford it right now. And I don't blame them. I'm not mad at it. I'm not. As that, that's just, that's, I'm just doing a promotion right now, though, guys, because it will be back that. Okay. I'm just doing a promotion because I'm trying to launch it online. So as of now, the classes are $300. $300 and then $50 for a deposit, okay? $300 classes and $50 for a deposit. Mind you, right now, you can get hurt in Oklahoma City and make $21 an hour as a phlebotomist. Yes, guys, $21 an hour as a phlebotomist. Okay, you will get hired at places like OU Medical, Mercy Hospital, um, Southwest Hospital. You can do mobile phlebotomists, all kinds of things. And this is in Oklahoma City, and we are have one of the lowest paying rates here. And you can make $21 an hour here as a phlebotomist. So with that being said, guys, don't be afraid to contact me, ladies. If you have that $50, put that $50 down. Put that, call me, email me, perfectphlebotomy at gmail.com. Email me, send me that $50, ask me how I want to be paid, because I do not do PayPal, because PayPal and me right now are not friends. But um, put that $50 down on your class. Get started. I will launch on May 3rd. May 3rd, Perfect Bottom will be launched online. Okay? So, we, oh, and also you're in Oklahoma City, your um, clinical site will be Oklahoma Blood Institutes. So, what you need to do is launch, not launch, I'm launching. <laughs> See, I get excited. I'm launching on May 3rd. What you need to do is put your $50 down. Your $50 to secure your spot. After you put your $50 down, you contact me. And look, first, before you put the $50 down, contact me. Send me an email. And then let me know I'm putting my $50 down. This is my name. This is my information. What I'm going to do is send you the contract. You need to sign the contract. Okay? Sign my contract. Send it back to me because you cannot come to my class without my contract being signed. Let's make that clear. So you sign my contract, send it back to me, and what we will do then is we will discuss a time to meet up. So that way we can discuss your financial plans, okay? I do not discuss it over the phone or all over the internet. I discuss it in person. Unless you are over in a different state. If you're in a different state, we can discuss over phone. However, I will discuss your financial uh, plans right now, um, like how you will pay your payments, because you have to pay the, the $300. It has to be paid before you can take your test. Mind you, the $350 do not pay for your um, your national license. When it's time to take the test, you will have to pay for that, which is another $250. But that doesn't come until when it's time for you to take your test. The class, $300 pays for the class, okay? And so with that being said, Contact me, put your $50 down, we will we will get everything set up for you, and then we will figure out your payments. If your payments have to be $25 a week, that's fine, okay? As long as you are getting the payments in, okay? As long as you're getting the payments in. And this is me being me. I'm, I like to help people, and that's one of the ways I can do that, you know? That's, that's one of the ways I can do it. People are like, well, don't do that. Well, that's what I do. So with that being said, guys, have a blessed one. Let's hope this video gets posted. Bye, guys. See, here we go. Like every time I try to close it out. <laughs> and yes, this is not going to be, you know, I'm not going to have my, my video up, my promotion video up and stuff like that with this. I'm just going to post this video and I'll do all my like everything else later right now i do not have time okay so don't forget we have a promotion going on for 350 dollars it's 50 dollars deposit 300 dollars for the class after you sign up after you figure it out if you want to sign up or not send me an email on perfectphlebotomy at gmail.com saying i would like to sign up for your class this is my name this is my age what i will have you do is send me um i will send you the contract you will sign the contract you'll pay your 50 dollars, and then by then by the time you um get into the class i will need to have your ged or high school diploma be blessed, guys.